how to start your IELTS preparation with the hope of passing on the first attempt. This is what I'm going to talk about in this video. So if you're interested, why don't you come with me as we look at that. Alright, welcome back. If you are new on this channel, I really appreciate you for being here for the first time. And if you are a returning subscriber, it's because of it I'm always motivated to make new videos. I really appreciate you as well. Thumbs up. Alright, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, make sure you are hitting the subscribe button right under this video. And also make sure that you are hitting the notification bell, that small bell close to the subscribe button so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. So, as I know mentioned, I'm going to talk about how to start your IELTS preparation. One may ask, what is IELTS? Well, IELTS is an English language test. Basically, it stands for International English Language Testing System. I mean, people have different ways of, I mean, that is a short form. People have different ways of calling it. I didn't say IELTS. I didn't say IELTS. I mean, it depends on how they want to pronounce it, okay? But I call it IELTS. And that is what I'm going to talk about in this video, how to start your IELTS preparation. You see, the very moment you decide to write IELTS, it's like you've started a race. You are in a race and uh, the general idea of every racer is to basically win, okay? So, to be able to win, you must start off. I mean, you should have a good starting point. And that is why I think that you should get to know how to start your IELTS preparation because the start is very, very important. And as much as people are looking out for the results, what matters most is how you start because how you start will probably have an effect on how you end. Okay, so basically, there are five things I'm going to share with you if you want to start your IELTS preparation and pass on the first attempt. Trust me, if you miss out one of them, then um, let me say that you're not ready to prepare for IELTS. You're not ready to basically pass IELTS on the first attempt. And that is what I say to most of the people who contact me with regards to um, they having the desire to write IELTS. So we are fortunate to have this information in this video and I will you to watch till the end. If you want to have more of my systematic IELTS teachings, I mean in the order that you understand, then I have a Patreon community you have to join. I'll leave the link in the description box so that I can have a systematic approach. I mean it tells you where to start from and then where to end. Okay, so alright, so let's jump into the video. You see, the first thing you must basically look at, I mean, I have a system for this and I call this the RGMMR. RGMMR. And it's just an acronym representing, I mean, whatever I'm going to talk about here. So the first thing I would like to talk about is the R and it stands for region. So when people contact me and then say they want to write IELTS, um, the first question I ask is, why do you want to write IELTS? And that's the reason. I want to know why they want to write IELTS and I believe that the reason will propel them to do whatever it requires of them to pass out on the first attempt. There's one thing I've come to realize, and it's if you don't have a reason to doing something, I mean, you have a reason to stay in it. The reason why most people quit whatever they are doing is because they don't have a reason to back that up. So, if you have a reason to say write IELTS at a point when there's some kind of discouragement or when there's some kind of disappointment, you wouldn't give up because I mean, you look up to the reason. You still want to meet up to the reason why you want to write IELTS. So for me, I always share my story with people. I wanted to write IELTS because I felt like it was the easiest way to basically have the opportunity to work in an English-speaking country. And I also felt like it was the easiest way to help me start off where I left off my home country. And that is why I had to sit for this exam. And I mean, when I looked at that reason, um, I didn't give up. There were times I wanted to give up because I was not getting the required mark with regards to the reading, writing, and the other stuff. But at each particular point in time, I had to look back on the reason why I said I'm registering for IELTS. So the reason is very, very important. If you have the reason, then you have met one requirement to start your IELTS practice. The second thing you need to start your IELTS practice is G, and that represents goal. You see, a goal is your direction i mean it tells you where you want to go okay so you want to write ielts you have the reason why you want to write the ielts now what's your goal your goal might be that i mean 
you are writing IELTS purposely to have an opportunity to work in the UK, Canada, the USA, New Zealand, or wherever. So your goal should be centered on where you want to go. So which country do you want to basically work or study? If it's Canada, then you are working towards the band school of Canada. If it's the UK, then you should work towards the band school of UK. And if it's Australia, then you should do as such. I mean, work towards the band school of Australia. This is very, very important. So your goal is much, much important. Now the question is, what band school should you get? That should be part of your goal. Okay, so now you know the country you want to go in and work or study. For example, let's say you want to work in the UK. And now the UK requires a certain band score, an overall band score of seven and above. And then basically seven, 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 seven throughout the full aspect, except writing that you can have 6.5 and above. So if you desire to work in the UK, then you should probably have a goal centered around this band score that this is what you want to get and you, have, you must prepare towards that. Okay, so your goal is very, very important. And uh, how long do you want to prepare for the IELTS? Okay, you have to, I mean, factor all these things in the goal. Just put them on paper and uh, as I said, it's a sense of direction. It tells you where you are heading towards. The third thing I would like to share with you here to have before starting your IELTS practice is motivation and it stands for M. You should have a source of motivation. Why do I say this? There are times you may want to give up just because you are not getting the required score for either the reading, the listening or the speaking. So you should have something that will keep you in the game. You should have something that will keep motivating you, that will keep inspiring you to not give up, okay? Um, I had the same feeling, there were times I felt like, I mean, this IELTS is not mine and I wouldn't want to waste away money, time and energy. So, instead of me not to waste away money, I felt like, why don't I quit? But, my first source of motivation was the reason why I registered. So that's why I said I should have a reason. And my second source of motivation has to do with listening to people who had already been in the game and then basically watching YouTube motivational videos um reaching out to other people and not talking to people too much because you know um one advice i give to people who contact me with a desire to write out is that don't talk to people too much there are some who might have written the out and failed and they believe that no one else can pass okay so once you tell them about your intention they will tell you that you can't do it they will discourage you and they will even tell you stories of people who have failed on a number of occasions so as part of your motivation just keep your mouth shut don't tell people about I mean, your desire to write IELTS. Let your results speak for you. You can open up once you've passed on the first attempt. And that is what I did. I mean, no one knew I was writing IELTS except the people I was in the game with. So just make sure you're having a source of motivation, something to keep you in the game. Because trust me, there may be times you may want to give up. And when you don't have any source of motivation, you would easily give up. The first thing I would like to talk about is Another M, which stands for materials. You see, to pass IELTS in the first attempt, you have to do a lot of practice. And for you to be able to meet up to this, you should have practice materials. What are practice materials? They are the exact versions of the exams you'll be writing on the DD. So you have practice materials for the speaking test, practice materials for the listening test, practice materials for writing test. And then practice materials for the reading test so you should have materials on board so that at least um you know that you are passing the exact version of what you are going to do on the dd so this is very very important okay so have practice materials so most of you ask where do i get practice materials if you become part of the patreon community i have practice materials in there that you can download and i mean use for free so just check the description box and then become part of my patreon community i mean it's just a lovely community I just want you to get a systematic approach to passing IELTS on the first attempt. Now the last thing I'll talk about is the R. What does the R stand for? It stands for rooster. It can also mean steady plan. You see, I always say this, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. One thing about the IELTS is that you see, you should give equal attention to all the four aspects. You know, you have the reading test, the writing test, speaking test, and the listening test. And you should give equal attention to all of them. Now, the two that can help you give equal attention to all of them is a steady plan. 
if you haven't got a steady plan trust me you end up doing the aspect of the ielts you are interested in so for instance um looking at my story i felt like when i had no steady plan um i ended up doing the listening test almost every day at the expense of the others and uh if i had not developed a steady plan i felt like that would have gone against me because you know, I would have focused on only the listening test and uh, not give much attention to the others. So the study plan helps you to measure the level of your progress. It helps you to know what you've done in a day and uh, what you need more attention on. Okay. So it also helps you to basically fix in um, the aspect of the IELTS you have more difficulty in. So um, if uh, let's say you have di much difficulty in the reading test, uh, with your study plan, you can structure it in the way that you have more sessions of the reading test on the plan, so that at least I'm um, able to meet up to, um, I mean, the standard. Okay, so a study plan is very important. Now, if you have all these things in place, then trust me, you are ready to set the ball rolling. You are ready to start your IELTS practice. If you miss out on one of these, um, the possibility that you pass out on the first attempt would be very low. So make sure that before you start your practice, you are getting all these things in place, okay? You have a reason for writing the IELTS. You have a goal or goals, okay? You have your motivation, I mean, something to keep you in the game. You have materials and then roster. So I may ask, where can I get practice materials? Watch out my next video and uh, you'll be able to discover different ways to get practice materials. Thank you very much for having time to watch this video. I strongly believe that it has been very very helpful to you and uh, it will basically start you in the journey so if I mean it's your desire to write IELTS and pass on the first attempt just make sure that you are having a checklist of all that I've mentioned here and once you have them then you begin to zoom into action all right so subscribe to this channel and get more of my IELTS tips and experience and uh, the way to becoming the next in the UK and other diaspora to see my next video